Hey guys, I just want to give a quick hello to everyone at CT Style in Connecticut. We're super excited to launch on your show for the 2016 vintage of Purple Hands Winery. I think they're the best wines we've ever made. And make sure you guys send all of your friends out to us in Oregon so that we have an opportunity to show them all the amazing stuff that we're doing. Cheers. Cheers to you. How cool is that, Teresa, huh? I'll go out to Oregon. Why not? And hang out. <laughs> Let's do it. Gary Gunner, welcome to CT Style. Well, thank you. Thank it was you. nice to have you and, here. And, and that was your buddy all the way from Oregon. That was Mr. Cody Wright. He's Very really nice. great. You know what? He's one of the, the hottest young winemakers in the United States. Like as in his skills, or, or, or you find him to be attractive, or both? Well, he's got great skills. Both. He's, oh, he's, good, he's right. good with picking the grapes. Okay, okay. You know, hey, well, but, I, I just hey, to the cool thing is, um, you know, the funny thing is, is the name of the winery is called uh, Purple Hands, cool. because he grew up in the winery. His dad is Ken Wright, one of the most famous, iconic uh, winemakers in, in, in Oregon. And his stepdad is Roland Souls, who I've worked with for like the last 25 years, and is considered one of the top winemakers in the country. He makes great Pinot Noirs and Champagne. So here's this kid growing up with these two amazing uh, winemakers and, yeah. you know... Influences. Yes, he well. learned a thing or two, well, huh? Yeah, huh? I mean, you always got to cross <laughs> your fingers. But he turned out to be one of the nicest guys. He's young. He's 40 years old. He's got two young kids. Him and his wife have this amazing winery. Cool. Um, every year they come out with their single vineyards. So this is a 2016 Purple Hands single vineyard release for the state of Connecticut. Nice. We have them here. But the cool thing is, so this is Cody. He's a young guy. He's 40 years old. He's making really amazing wines. His picture's over there. We're in Oregon. And the difference between Oregon and California, if mm -hmm. you go into the Willamette Valley, um, it's still family-owned wineries. Oh, that's nice. So in California, you have a lot of wineries that are, you know, they're corporations. They're right. buying them up. This is local. This is local. This mm -hmm. is family. They don't plant everywhere. They only plant where the grapes can, you know, the grapes are grown. And tell us about this map here. It looks a little confusing to those of us who might not know the, the layout of Okay, Oregon. so what this is, is um, since Cody has, um, is considered as one of the hottest winemakers, the, that is a map of his single vineyards. Wow. So if you're looking at it, you have Shea, you have Stoller, you have Latchkey, you got Holstein, you have Kopp. So what he does is some of the vineyards are his completely, mm -hmm. and then some he gets uh, some fruit. So anywhere between 150 and 400 cases are made of the, of the single vineyards that you're seeing right now. They come out one time a year. There's only one problem. Okay, what's that? This is the problem. Once they start getting tasted, if I can show this up, he starts getting 93, 94s on all these wines. And next thing you know, all the collectors are running out. Uh -oh. And they want the, they want the wine. So Hard they kind of... They disappear. There's not a, there's not a lot of That's them. That's a good problem to have for him, at least. Absolutely. No, no, no. It's great. But the problem is, you want to make sure you know that everyone has a chance to try and to taste them. They're delicious. The cool thing is, if you look at some of these single vineyards, they're all hand harvested, which means there's no machines going out there. They're all small, uh, small lot production, mm -hmm. um, 12 months in oak. And what's really really cool, they're they're delicious. I love yeah. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is the hardest grape to grow. It's thin skin. But what's nice about these Pinot Noirs, it's all black cherry. You have all this uh, candy cherry fruit, dusty raspberry, and you got these little earth tones to it, and it's the closest thing to a burgundy. Would you say each one has a different flavor? Is that the different bottles, different labels? Absolutely. There? So okay. the fact that everyone, each one comes from a different terroir and comes from a different area, different different uh, grape clones, they're mm -hmm. going to taste a little different. Most important thing between um, Oregon. It's, it's a cool climate, mm -hmm. so it tastes like uh, it's the closest thing you're going to get to Burgundy, so it's really, really delicious. 100% Pinot Noirs, and when you're looking at Pinot Noir from California, sometimes they blend it with um, other wines, Petit Syrah, uh, they blend it with Cabernet, it's a little deeper. Mm -hmm. This, you can actually see your thumb through. You can smell all those great flavors. You know that it's oh, 100%. Good. And take a look at that last bottle on the corner. So that last one right here, which I have in my hand right now, is called Lone Oak Ranch. So this is kind of cool. So when you go, next time you go into a wine store, if you're <laughs> buying something in a restaurant, what Lone Oak Ranch is, instead of, it's 100% Pinot Noir, mm -hmm. but it's actually a blend, the cuvee of his six single vineyards. Wow. So what you're getting is you're getting something where the, um, the single vineyard releases probably retail around $50. This retails around 26 So it's a deal. It's a deal. It's a blend of everything, and you're trying, and you're really tasting, you know, everything that this young winemaker is making. Great guy, great family. You saw it on the email. Come up and see them. Sounds um, great, Gary. You know, and then next month I'll be here. I got some great uh, emails. Yeah. People are asking about wedding wines, what oh, to buy, and, and how to do it. So that's kind of cool. Let's grab our glasses and oh, cheers. Let's cheers. cheers. Make sure you guys follow Gary that. on Twitter. <laughs> Runner on wine. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. Purple hands.